Yes, another unboxing and uh, instruction video on how to complete the True Scale numbered edition uh, Emperor Throne Room. And we're uh, getting less and less amateurish with uh, the experience we're getting. So now the boxes will be numbered that will be um, in line with the plate, the limited edition plate you will find in the box, checklist, and some pretty good packing. Look at that. That is thorough. A beautiful floor, shiny black and engraved. The stairs. The electronics. Um, LED for the backlighting. World power adapter with all the plugs you're going to need. All the console. Um, screen paddle units, I think, with custom laser cut 3M glue. These are the very cool wall decorations that go around the, um, the circular front. Then the Imperial Consoles. So, another one. Cool and solid aluminum. This massive unit, the central unit, let's unpack that. Later, First, note there is a double, or should I say triple bottom in the box. So this is a custom printed and laser cut back piece for the star background. You will also find two sheets for the console screens, a custom designed 3M um, mounting kit for the, uh, the star field, and very important, the custom laser engraved numbered edition plate. This is number 19. The first 18 are already on their way, so that's why I'm hurrying to make the video on how to assemble this. Let's unpack the main unit. Oh, beautiful! Solid, engraved, and machined, powder-coated powder aluminum with a completely bent and set wall uh, window. The um, second part of the star field is already uh, in place that only needs to be mounted, but I'll show you later how to do that. All right, let's get to work on the main unit. A massive piece designed to, of course it stands alone, but uh, it'll also fit inside both the IKEA Stuva and Besta ranges. So let's get these suckers mounted. Those are the familiar, or maybe not, uh, decorational stones or whatever that are uh, only visible in a few shots, but we've done some extensive research on the, uh, on the design. So 
you get the, this is the front, the engraved front, and then the back. You get the accompanying 3M pieces. This is some really cool stuff. This is laser cut. Um, and this is really strong adhesive. Um, it's not double-sided tape because there's no actual tape. This is just laser cut um, glue with a double-sided backing. So it, uh, it only uh, needs, uh, it leaves a very thin layer of glue behind. And just line it up with the bottom there and just center it. Put it on. So, lather, rinse, and repeat. Press the uh, 3M down firmly, then start removing the backing and then make sure that you pull that in line with the gluing surface so you make sure you leave the glue behind and don't take it with you when you remove the backing. That looks really good. That yeah, so we found a shade that is in the same color family but just slightly lighter, so we get a little bit of color variation just like the original, um, and it gives the uh, it gives a bit more depth for the eye. So, moving to the back, the back is open, so you'll have some different lighting options. Now, it was um, easiest to mount the, um, the star field that goes around this part of the window, so it will arrive unscathed. Now, if you look at your... Uh, this, this part of the, uh, the 3M, these of course go around the circle, these, um, the thinner ones are for these part of the spider web and these two big ones, let's get those out. First just carefully remove the very cool laser cut piece so it's not in the way. Just leave that on here and then get these 3M pieces and you will notice there's a hard bend like a, a, a line, a crease uh, where the curve goes into a straight line and you want to place the 3M right at the edge below that line. It shows right there. Do the same on the other end. Like that, really press it down firmly, take the backing off, I suggest doing one side first, then make sure you put the star field down, center it around this tab and push it all the way back, then Hold it in place here and really make sure you tighten it and then press it against the 3M and that way you'll have a perfect fit. So now remove the other backing again, make sure it is centered 
and flush to the front so you don't have any uh, light peeping through and you just like that. Now if we look at the front, yeah, that looks perfectly mounted. The second part of the puzzle is a lot easier. So just get these little arches first. Just place them close to the edge, but not over the edge. This one too. Like that. I really love these assembly processes. I mean, they're not, uh, they're not too hard. So you can just relax and have fun assembling your, your own kit. Also, this is solid, uh, uh, because it's solid aluminum and it's set and it's been uh, nailed uh, with, with, a, uh, a, with pop nails as we call them. Don't know the, uh, the correct term. This is, this is very strong. You can put most anything on top or uh, on here. You won't have to worry too much about uh, damaging it. I mean, so center it like that. Make sure the little pieces are gone, the little tabs. I'll just finish this up and come back later. All right, so all the adhesive for the circular uh, star background is now mounted. Um, there are two spare strips. Uh, if you screw some up, maybe you want to dry fit and dry test this. So as you can see, it fits exactly around these tabs and around the back. So you can just mount it that way. So I'm going to be removing the adhesive backing now. And when I've done that, we'll mount the star background. All right, so for this one, take your time. Make sure you center it and you keep the lower part of the graphic of the print away from the double-sided tape until you're ready for that part. All right, with the um, with this part done for now, with the perfect st uh, star background mounting and the uh, the beautiful stone pieces, I will call them, it's time to move on to the uh, consoles. These are the places where we will fit the screens. Now they have two sides: the um, uh, the machined end, bottom end. Uh, you want to clean this off with something uh, and make sure it's degreased so that the uh, glue has maximum uh, adhesive power. Uh, then the front, or the business end, or whatever you want to call it, that's still protected by foil. So we'll be removing that uh, at the last possible moment um, so that the uh, beautiful shiny black finish remains intact. So I've already cleaned mine. and. The 3M adhesive that goes on the bottom, the machine part, um, is slightly too small, so you won't have to worry too much about um, ha having it stick over the edges. This is more than enough uh, to keep it very strong. So I'll be doing all these uh, 3M applications first, and then I'll come back for the next step. All right, with uh, all the 3M backing applied, now there are two ways to approach the next step. Either you mount all the screen panels before you do the, uh, the, de the decals, but uh, I think it's easier to apply them first before you apply the entire screens. Um, just leave something beneath 
your 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 work surface to ensure you keep everything uh, undamaged. So just remove the protective foil like that, and you'll have a perfectly pristine surface, as you can see. Uh, that's also clean. So no worries about degreasing it first. Then place the screens in the center. Start at the top, smooth it down, and then smooth it down until you reach the bottom so you don't have any air uh, or dirt trapped underneath that will mar the nice clean look we're, look we're going for here. Uh, now you only need to do that uh, 15 more times. <laughs> I'll do that off camera. All right, <clears throat> so 16 beautiful screens. Um, I really suggest you do it this way. Uh, it's a lot easier than when these are mounted. So now we have to stick on the sides. Again, a lot easier when you can do this. Just put it on its side, center it, and make it even with the top like that just smooth it down and now depending on the tolerance in the cutting of the decal and the actual screen you might have to fold down the bottom and then it looks perfect as you can see smooth looks great 15 more to go. All right, so look at all these screens, front and sides. So after that, you could probably guess what's next. Remove the 3M adhesive backing, pull along the plane of the adhesive, and then start by lining up the um, the lip you see here with the front here. Put your finger along the side to make sure it's exactly in place, covering the slabs here. And then you'll have a perfect screen. 15 more to go! And so, if all goes well, you'll be left with two perfect Imperial consoles. So, final steps are very simple. The floor just slides underneath the uh, main part of the set and depending on the display depth you have, you slide it back further or less far. Just place these consoles. You place the stairs in the slots like that. And you're free to mount the limited edition plate anywhere. So this is the true scale set without the throne. If you get the True Scale DX, you get our throne uh, as well, because uh, we don't know how you're going to display it. You have the option to include the LED strip um, that I showed you in the beginning of the video. If you were to place it, say, in a windowsill or anywhere where there is already a black backlight situation, like many people have uh, a completely uh, lit up and uh, a professionally lit up um, display case. So in that case, you won't need the LED strip. For those who place it inside an IKEA Stuva without any light, I'm going to show you how I suggest you place the LED strip next. All right, so looking at the back, you get the uh, LED strip from the packet. And the first thing to do is remove the blue backing adhesive. Be careful, 
to not re re remove the entire double-sided tape. And I suggest you start here where you can leave the uh, wire exposed and just go around Roll off as much as you need. Now, the distance from the light source to the star field is going to ensure you have uh, a very nice and even looking lighting situation. And All you'll need is a flat head or Phillips screwdriver, as long as it's small enough, and your adapter here. Now standard, it is fitted with a US plug, but just press this down, slide it off. If you need another plug, I need a European plug, so now that works for me. Um, and if you get the screwdriver, you place the red wire in the positive terminal and the black wire in the negative terminal and just plug it in like that. All right, so um, there's plenty of length left, so I suggest uh, you can go back and forth one more time so you get nice, bright and even lighting. that. And then for the final bit, I suggest sticking some lights here. So the best way for the back to be illuminated is to go around the edge like that. This stuff is flexible LED strip which is designed for this specific type of mounting. So go around like that. And so here you see it mounted inside a cabinet. Um, if you have doors in front of your cabinet, you'll have to remove the hinges before you place this, then screw back the hinges, and then it won't interfere with the working of the door. And um, as you can see, a very nice lit up star field. Um, I would also suggest having a bit of light at the, in the ceiling like most of you guys will have uh, and girls. So here you see the true scale version. If you want the true scale DX that comes with the throne as well uh, which we'll be showing later. Um, so you c but for those who have the throne already here's the uh, the version without uh, the throne, the true scale version, which is priced at $399, and the true scale DX with the throne is priced at $499. So I hope you enjoy and see you next time.